Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I was originally going to film and then I'm just like sitting here getting ready. I'm like, what the heck? I might as well, you know. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. Um, I am getting ready to go shopping. I gotta go find a belt. I bought a dress and it just... You know, I'm not like the skinniest person and I bought this dress and it like right in like the waist part, it just looks so big <laughs> and I'm not comfortable. So I'm going to go see if I can find like more like a decorative type belt just to kind of like make the waist kind of come in a little because it's really big on me in the waist. And maybe if I cinch it in a little, not cinch it, but you know, maybe if I kind of put a belt there that kind of pulls the waist in a little bit, it'll help. So, if you guys have not tried this brush, this is the It Cosmetics, um, what is it called? Love Beauty Fully? Beauty, I, I don't know. Oh, Love is the Foundation. It says Love Beauty Fully up here. It Cosmetics, but it's Love is the Foundation. It has these cute little sequence hearts in it. Um, Raw Beauty Christy, which I, you guys know I love her. Um, putting it out in the open, you know, she many years ago used to talk about Samantha Ravindal and used to say, I'm going to meet Samantha Ravindal one day. And she did. They actually, I think they're fr like friends now. So I'm putting it out there. I'm going to meet Christy, Rob to Christy and one day, one day me and her are going to be friends. We're going to chill together. I might even fly to California, not California. Where is she? Seattle? I think I forget now. I might even go visit her. You never know. You know, put things out in the out in the uh, out in the universe, and they may actually happen. You never know. Um, well, for once, I actually have a little extra foundation on my palette. This is the La Mer foundation, hundred and twenty dollar foundation. Um, you know. <sighs> I got it, didn't like it, returned it, got it again, now I like it, um, mainly because it has really good skincare benefits, and when I'm having really super, super good skin days, like right now, it just looks so stinking pretty on the skin. I love the way it looks on my skin when I'm having, like, good skin days, because when I'm having bad skin days, it just, I don't like the way it looks at all. I don't know why, but I just don't. But it's one of those foundations that it's extremely light coverage. And basically, basically I use it for uh, just kind of toning down my redness. I'm just evening my skin tone. But it, it's very pretty. I just, and it's, uh, it's like kind of more of a luminous type foundation. It's not like super... It's not glowy at all, that I will tell you, but I like it, and I've been using it every once in a while. Um, I guess we could call this like my bougie uh, makeup routine, because <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm just like really like, I'm really liking this powder too. I've got this on Poshmark. I would never in a million years buy it for full price, but oh my god, it's so nice. It is the YSL. Um, souffle de clat. I probably butchered that, but I like it because just like it that much. And this, that brush that they won't, they need to make more of these because this is the CB4 and this is the CB3. And look at the, there's like a huge difference. It's like not the same. It's nice for under your eyes. I'll be quite honest with you. But that's like it. Sorry, had to pause for a second. My husband came in to actually tell me he's going to go to the mall with me. How sweet. Which doesn't happen a lot. When I got my ring sized, I picked it up. I dropped another one off. And they have not called me yet. I'm a little, like, aggravated about that. But what I was saying about this um, YSL powder, I like it just to kind of set the makeup down. Because that way, the um, La Mer, if you don't set it, it's not going to last. It, it breaks up really bad. 
I mean, it's a beautiful foundation. Don't get me wrong, but it's just on me. I am 49 years old and um, kind of like I'm post, I pretty much went through menopause, but I still have some of the, you know, just little ins things from it. And one of them is I get hot flashes still. So, but, uh, yeah, that is about it. Um, one thing I like about the CB4 brush, I hate getting a uh, foundation in my eyebrows. And I, the best way to get it out is I go ahead and I powder my face and then I will take the CB3 brush and just kind of work, work it into my eyebrows because it's a little stiff. And I can really kind of get in and press that powder. If you go, very, if you have dry skin and more maturing skin, like I do, if you put a light coat of powder and then what I use is the big brush and then I go over with this looser one and just make sure that it's all kind of pressed in. And I go back with the CB3 and like around my nose, under my eyes, anywhere that the foundation may have kind of gathered, like right in there, I just kind of go over it. Oh, that's driving me nuts. I have a, I got my lips done. You can really see it right there. There's a hole where there's like, there's no filler right there. I don't know. My girl that does my stuff is wonderful and I know she will fix any issues if there is any. So I'm not worried about it. I'm going to go ahead and I like to spray this down, but I don't have... I'm, uh, I'm out of my Morphe spray, which is my favorite for this. So I'm just going to grab my second favorite, which is the um, MAC Prep and Prime. And this is the Rose scent. I'm just going to just ever, whoops, so lightly. It looked heavy, but I'm spraying it some, from so far away. And I'm getting a light mist and just kind of when you have dry skin like I do there's places that the powder just will kind of just look real makeupy and I'm having that and if you tend if you kind of go over it with a, a little bit of setting spray and one thing I like to I'll even do is kind of warm up my hands and just kind of press you don't want to pull the makeup up, but I just don't like when it gets cakey. The look that I'm going for today is just very natural, very, very light. I don't want to go like crazy. Um, God, I need to do my eyebrows. I have so much to do. You know, I'm going on, it's this short cruise, it's just a few day cruise, and I'm acting like I'm going to be gone for six months, the way I'm like running around to do everything, but there's a formal dinner on the boat, and, you know, I've been up and down wait for so long that I don't really have anything at the moment nice, like formally kind of to wear and I wanted a cute little dress to wear and it got me this really adorable dress. It has a it has a ribbon that laces up the back and it it's one of those has a sweetheart neck but it has cap sleeves and lace here in the front and it has a collar, a high collar, but this is all lace in the front. And um it laces like almost like a corset up the back. It's very cute. Very cute. And the back is kind of open. It's like three quarters of the way open. But I don't like how it fits in the waist. So I'm going to attempt to get kind of a decorative little belt to put with it. Uh, so I'm trying to kind of... I don't want my makeup super cakey. But anyway. Um, I, I hope you guys are all ready for Christmas. I know. I know most of you are going, ready? Huh. Anyway. 
our kids are grown, so we don't really, we don't do like a formal Christmas anymore. We don't, neither one of us have a lot of family members anymore. Um, most of my family has already passed, unfortunately. I have my mom and my stepfather and my uncle and a few cousins, but that's pretty much, it's kind of it. And, um, he's got his son and his brother, you know, and a couple of people, but, you know, we used to decorate, we used to go all out, but... This is another brush Raw Beauty Christy has been using, which I thought was cool. It reminded me that I had this brush because I got this brush because, as you guys know, I love those um, those 3D Kabuki brushes. This is the, I think it's a 4, yeah, 4D Kabuki. It's great for getting right here. It fits perfectly. And anywhere, and it's actually a brush. That's actually a brush shape like that. It's so crazy. I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of sales going on right now, as many of you guys know. I could not believe some of the things that have been on sale. I got the cutest palette, but it was broken. And I have it sitting over here. I'm not going to pick it up, but... I want to try. I want to try to use it. I really do. I think I'm going to try to use it. It's a Bobbi Brown palette. It's like the, I forget what it was called. Where is it? I think it was ultraviolet. It was all purpley colors, and oh, one, two, three, four shades broke. Let me see if I can kind of. Well, let me see if I can kind of. That's one of the ones that broke. That one, which is a dark kind of purpley. Shimmer. I'll show you the shades that broke. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to dip into it without making a mess. Let's see how well this works. Oh, I didn't even realize that was what color that was. Uh, it's hard to, see it's hard to really pick it up. They're kind of, they're really light shades, but the mauve tone, the one that didn't break is like my favorite. <laughs> but it's a matte and it's, I love these like mauve kind of tone, these kind of tone mattes. These are like so pretty, I think. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to try to use it, but I have it sitting over here. It's actually in my drawer, inside of my drawer. I set it there. Um, they're sending me another one. So I'll be able to actually review it when I get it. But uh, the girl from Sephora was so sweet. She's actually um, probably watching my channel right now. Um, I have a lot of the girls from Sephora that are actually subs on my channel, which is really cool. Um, a lot of people are just really amazed that somebody my age is doing this. And, you know, I tell people all the time that... Um, I came on YouTube looking for something specific because I hadn't done, done like professional makeup in years and I wanted to get back into it. And for one thing, I was looking for a foundation for myself and concealer that was more moisturizing and not so damn dry. And I came on here and everything, it seemed like everything I was looking for, I could not find, which drove me nuts. Um, all right, I love you. That was my honey. I don't know if you guys heard him yelling, but he's leaving. He's not real happy with me right now because uh, a friend of mine was supposed to come help me all week and she's had a lot going on. And I was supposed to have this house cleaned up and ready for my mother by Monday, I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't know what is going on um, once we get back from the cruise. I do know he's letting me go on the cruise with him. He threatened to cancel my cruise. And um, from what I heard from the secretary at his work, he didn't. So, but she's another one that watches too. 
he threatened to cancel, but I, you know, I, I, I don't think he would do that to me. I don't really don't, but you know, you never know. Men can do funny things. Do you guys have one eye that is like completely different than the other? Because I totally do. This eye is like so off compared to my other one, but is that not such a pretty color? You could actually, well, I, and I have actually worn this color by itself with just a little, um, I like doing a color like this and then I'll kind of finish it on the bottom and then do a white on the lid, which I, you know what, I'm going to do that today. It's a very simple, simple look and it's very easy to do. Um, I think I've kind of done it. My, the ice cream palette from, um, just a color right here. This is another one I love to do it with this cranberry, not cranberry. This, they call it blueberry swirl, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a mauvey purpley color. And with this color right here on the lid, it looks so pretty together. I love doing that. And I'll even put a little bit of this purple sometimes under the, um, under the eye. The bottom lash line can look really cute. But I do love doing white. And um, my girls with hooded, very hooded eyes, pay attention. I'm going to show you a little trick. Yep, I'm pulling my little tricks out of my bag. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick today using the um, white shadow to really help your eye pop. First of all, I'm going to go ahead in. this is the darker, I can't pick this up. This is the darker purple matte in this palette. And I'm going to go ahead and do that corner right there. I love to do that little corner. You see how I leave so much open, though? And I'm going to run this right along the bottom lash line. I haven't even finished my face yet. I'm done already doing this. And come up here. Now, you want to leave all that open. And actually, I came a little... I even came over a little too far for what I normally do. I normally only come to here, but that's all right. And then kind of, this is a flat brush. This is, uh, this is called Step One for the Money, and this was from the Vintage um, Cosmetic Company. These came in a BoxyCharm box. You do the same thing on this side. Normally, I'll show you where I normally do it, the corner, is I will normally do the corner right to here. See, and leave all that lid space open. You see how, actually you can see, you see how that kind of closed my eye off a little more? And this gives me more of, a, more of an eyelid. It looks very heavy right now because I have so much, damn it. All right. Go ahead and do that under the lash line. Now what I like to do is go ahead and press that on, bring it up here, bring this up here. And it's real sloppy right now, but this is just laying down the color. Then I will go in with, I don't know what this, this came in the iCredibles set. And I really am thinking this is the, like the new James Charles one because it's, and this is ratty as hell right now. This is not numbered, but it is like the, um... It is very similar to the 441, but it is shorter and a lot smaller, but it's, you know, very similar in size when it's new, but mine's been through hell. So I like this one and it's, I did kind of trim some hairs off of this one to make this more custom for me. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Blend that out there. I love to fill this whole outer corner right here out. And then bring this up in here. Now I'm going to grab a little puffier, a little fluffier brush so I can blend that even more. Where is it? Darn it. Oh, hmm. this is the 441. I'm just going to go on the edge of that and bring that in right there just to kind of blend that. I, you don't want like really harsh edges. You always want a soft. You always want to blend it kind of soft. 
I'm going to grab just a tiny bit more of that shadow because I've lost my corner here. I've lost my corner. Yeah. Tap that in. There we go. I really love, I wear this look something, well, something very similar. I used different colors yesterday because I was so upset about this eyeshadow palette breaking. Um, I can't really use half of the colors in it and I can't really like pick it up and use it like normal because it's broken. I'm going to grab just, this is a dry makeup sponge. These are great. You can use these things dry or wet. I don't know if you saw, they had a contest going on actually. Doing people doing their whole face to that with that, just that. It was a little insane for me, but I don't know. I, you know, I have so much makeup to be honest with you. I don't enter contests like that unless I like, unless it's more for like recognition will I enter something because I don't need, I don't need more makeup. I'm going to come back in and I want to really make sure to define that right there. And the reason I'm doing that is it really helps to kind of push that hood back and see how it takes that, like, I call it my little flat, my little fat roll right there. And you can even kind of hold your eye up and really get on that right there. So I use one of these nice flat brushes for this because you can really get, you can really get in there. Bring that over and meet it to that corner. Bring that over, meet that to the corner. See how that really just pushes that, that really just pushes that back. And I'm just barely tapping in to the eyeshadow. There we go. It's so hard because I'm looking, like I'm looking in the monitor, I'm looking in the mirror down here, I'm looking in the mirror over there. And I have one here. <laughs> I look at everything from every angle. And honestly, when you're doing your makeup, you really kind of have to. I'm going to grab a clean 513 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes for this. Just to go and, and blend that right there. I'm going to blend that outer part first. And then I'll come in here. Because I don't want to get a whole lot of shadow on it until I get all that outer part blended. See, I'm not picking up any product. I'm just kind of blending that out. Blend that out there. I love this look. This is one of my favorite looks to do. Now, with my finger, I'm going to go into, there's a white shadow in this Bobbi Brown, which I've kind of scraped to get it clean because it was mixed with the others. And the only thing with that, this white shadow is really, it's hard to pick up. White shadows are hard to make. For one, it's a, uh, what is it, I, titan, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, there's a, there's a specific chemical that they use to make white shadows. There we go. I forget what it's called. You know, I was reading a lot about the making of shadows and just different, <clears throat> about some synthetic shadows compared to natural shadows and what is eye safe and what is not and you know it's really what I think we really need to demand more from these makeup companies because we are allowing them to really get away with technically breaking the law well not law but you know breaking breaking the rules I mean it's not like they're gonna go arrest somebody for this but you know, you can't use certain products on the eye. They're not eye safe. And I've talked about this many times before about how what is eye safe and what is not. And I'm going to grab that white on a brush right here. This white is very, very, it's very powdery. And you have to kind of really cake that on there. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just dampen this brush a little bit. And I normally won't do that with mattes, but this white is so broken up down here. It's almost like a loose pigment anyway. 
I mean, I know I'm using this palette, but it's it's really it's it's had it. But the other one will not be here till Monday, and I really wanted to try it out. I could have probably just taken this back to the Sephora store, but I've talked about this before. I don't like going to the Sephora stores. They're just, and especially the new one by me, is so high pressure. It's terrible. There we go. There you go. That is how I do that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my powder brush and just lightly go across. I always keep a little powder when I put this up. After doing my makeup, I always make sure there's a little bit of powder in it. So... And a lot of times I'll take my finger, and I have a makeup wipe right here, and I'll just tap my finger onto it and then kind of wipe. Because I don't want to really remove what I put down. Also, you can take your, what you use for your foundation and just pat, pat that out. There we go. I know I'm taking forever to like just get ready to go to the store. It's ridiculous, I know. I wonder if I can use the sh I really want to use the shadow here, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll pick up. Let's try this. This and this is a great sh uh, brush for the inner corner, and it's not a brush that you hear. I've never heard any YouTubers talking about this brush, and this brush is one of my favorites for that. Is the M five seven four? It's a big fat pencil brush. I mean, look, it's like perfect for that. I'm going to pick up, there's kind of a, this is a, oh god, I don't know, I think I did, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I thought that would look a lot better than it does. I'm trying to pick up this kind of duochrome, there it goes, that it kind of, there's a duochrome kind of purpley color in here, and that's one of the ones that broke, there we go. Now I'm trying to kind of work that on that inner corner. Now, I don't know how it's going to work, so we'll see. I've done this before where I've used a color on the inner corner instead of just... There we go. It looks so pretty. It looks very pretty in person. You can't really see it very well. There we go. Can you see that? It's... it's let me see if I can pick some up. It's that color right there, and it's... Uh, there we go. It's very hard to pick these up there because they're, they're kind of, I'm really fighting to pick up enough shadow. This is one of the ones I've lost most of it. It wound up on the floor. When I opened the box, it just went, it went everywhere. This and the darker purple one really did. There we go. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'm going to go ahead and grab my, where is it? I'm going to grab my Smashbox, always sharp, in Storm, which is a kind of a charcoal gray. That's the charcoal gray here. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my waterline. I like to put this down first, and then I will actually also tight line with that. The outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with. I like to put this purple. I've, I've gotten into doing this. And I, I don't. I don't know what started me doing this. But I'm really liking it. Um, Actually here. Let's use this one. This is kind of. This is Love Drug. And it's kind of a pinky kind of purpley color. And it's by. Um, it's by Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 liner. See, I'm putting that, see how it just gave that a little bit of a pop on top of that charcoal gray? I love layering eye, um, eyeliners. I do that quite a bit. There we go. See how it gives, you can still see that color on top of this. It almost sits farther back in the in, on the actual waterline. The gray is more up, like up in my lashes. That is from the Black Cherry collection that they just did. I got this stuff everywhere. Oh man, I need. To, I can't. When I get that Bobby Brown, the when I get the new one in, 
I will actually do a full, I'll do a full uh, review on it. That's why I'm trying to use it a little bit now just to kind of try it out before the other one gets here. It's really, it's almost like losing, using loose pigments that are like everywhere. This is Laguna. This is, I love this little set. It's a little set for Christmas and I've already hit pan. <laughs> Go figure, that's me. And uh, this is the Eda brush, the NARS Eda brush. These were really, really popular a couple years ago. And I like it because you can really get in there and kind of contour with it and then you can kind of blend it up. I contour and bronze with the same color Laguna for like daytime looks because really it's it saves you so much time and you can really get in there and blend with it and I like how it leaves a nice see it leaves a nice line if you want but I do blend that out I don't like a real harsh contour on daily, or like daily, just day-to-day -day makeup. I don't really worry about, I don't know why I do my nose. I guess just to kind of clean it up. I don't really, I don't really bother with it too much. Um, I've been liking this Duochrome. This is a little, it's a duo fiber uh, powder brush, the 516 from Luxie. This also came in my BoxyCharm. And I like going into this, um, the orgasm blush that's in here and just kind of lightly, I just lightly go right on the apple of the cheek, just right there. And then I will actually turn around and I'll grab that Eda brush again and I will... Just blend that right back into that. I don't like a lot of I don't like a lot of blush. I'm not I'm not a blush girl at all. And the reason being is because I have so much red in my face already. I don't like to I don't like to fool with it. What is this? Should I put? You know, I don't know if you guys have tried these. I used this as an inner corner highlight the other day. It was so pretty. This is from Ofra, and it's from Nikki Tutorial's Space, what was it, Space Baby? Yeah, Space Baby Highlighter. They're a little chalky, though, but it's so sneaky pretty. I kind of like, you know what, I'm going to do it very, very light with this look, because it is kind of purpley, um, with kind of blue undertones to it. It's kind of a bluish, bluish purple. So I'm going to go very light into Space Baby. In the blue. Whoa, it is so hard to go light on this. I just thought that would look pretty like that. Anytime I go in with a color, I'll lay it down and then I'll really like blend it out. There we go. And then I will even. I would even go over that with my powder brush because it just, to me, that's a little too much. But see, I'm looking in the mirror over here that would be natural light. You're not really seeing, you're seeing it in the studio lighting. Natural lighting is going to be, see how much different I blocked that light. It's crazy. But I'm going to be in natural lighting, not studio lighting. So I always make sure my very last check would be in that light go ahead and wipe the foundation off my lips and I have really been loving the um what is it the uh dose of color lipstick in the color chica which it's in my purse right now it's just a nude it's a very light kind of terracotta, almost nude, but it's a light terracotta. It's perfect for my skin tone. Then as I just get mascara everywhere. I've been liking this NARS mascara. I've seen a lot of people using it. I got it. I got this like as soon as it came out. I am an avid NARS lover. 
I've liked NARS products pretty much right from the beginning since I've tried them. And, uh, but I seem to always get that particular mascara on my eyelid and I don't like it. This is actually a little kind of dark vampy for today, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead in with my Too Faced, uh, what is this, the 3-in-1 Hangover Spray. I've been really enjoying this more again. You know, I kind of switch between stuff. My skin is so dry. I keep it so far away from me. That's why you see me spray so much. I'm just doing really a light mist. But it really helps with my, with my foundation. And my makeup lasting longer for the day because it's just really... It's really dry. I'm going to go in with, this is the um, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. You can use these for anything. You can use them for lips, eyes, whatever. Be careful using it from your mouth to your eye. You can get, you can get an infection from that. This is in the color, what is it, to, uh, Complete Septa. And it's just a nude color. I like it to really clean up around my lips with it. Cause I can clean up where I don't have, where I don't have a nice tight lip line. I can fix it where there is one. And it just blends in so well with the color of my lips. The good thing about this, it really lasts. It really lasts a long time. And it does look very nice with uh, quite a few different nude colors. Um, which, of course, the one I want to wear is in my purse. And, oh, goodness gracious. I don't think I have something close here. You know what? Let's find something. The other colors I've been liking are from Melt. Let's see. What would that look like? That's not bad. You know what? Let's see. Oh, that's fine. Melt has great, great um, matte lipsticks, and this is in the color Risky, and they do transfer a little, see, they will transfer, but they do last, after you kind of blot this a few times, like that, that's usually what I'll do, is just go ahead and blot it, see now, now you don't get any transfer, but I have plenty on my lips, once it kind of sets down, it it lasts a nice long time, and that's from Melt. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's just a little get ready with me. Um, I will be posting a few, probably a couple more videos before I might go, go on my cruise, but next week I, is when I'm leaving. I'm not going to be gone too long. You guys probably won't miss me very much. But I will miss you guys. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and I shall see you soon. Bye.